What is going on guys? Eddie of Fliptronics. So I'm going to be going over two of the best iPhones you can get under $500 in 2021. Okay, so I've got the iPhone XS Max and the iPhone SE 2. I honestly think these are two of the best phones if you're not trying to spend too much money. Now the XS Max, you can pick up anywhere between like $450 and $500. Bucks. And then the SE 2 is, you know, basically $400. But if you look hard enough, you can find it a little bit cheaper. Okay, as I'm going over these phones, I will throw some, uh, you know, price links in both the description and comments. But I got to say the XS Max, I mean, you're getting a 6.5 inch OLED display. So it's really big. Um, and then of course, like on the SE 2, you've got a 4 7 inch LCD display. It has the same processor in it as the iPhone 11, which is a plus. So it's a very fast phone. Now I took a, a picture here. I just wanted to go over the cameras briefly, but you know, I got to say the XS Max will have a better camera on it. It's got, you know, some of those telephoto zoom features you can use. Uh, but overall the SE2's camera is still solid. So, you know, it is what it is. And that was uh, my morning coffee right there. Okay, so um, next thing I'm going to do here is I got to play some games on both phones, right? So I'm going to start things off with uh, Marvel Contest of Champions, get a couple fights in here so you guys can kind of see like the displays. We'll check out some of the loudness. Um, and then I'm going to play some Into the Dead 2, of course. But, uh, you know, let's do our thing. All right, now I'm going to do some Into the Dead 2 gameplay. Obviously, you know, I love this game. I play it on the channel all the time. So we'll start things up with the 10S Max, make our way down to the SE2, and then I'm going to give you my final thoughts for both phones.
All right, so like I said, I really think these are two of the best iPhones you can get right now under 500 bucks. The 10s Max, you're gonna get that big display. It's got a nice camera on it, the SE2. It's got a newer processor, uh, good camera as well. It's just a little bit smaller. So if you wanna check either of these phones out, like I said, I'll throw some links in both the description and comments. Please smash the like button, subscribe if you haven't. We'll see you in the next one.